Yellowstone Volcano Why USGS Scientists Face Challenge Over Earthquake Surge Yellowstone Volcano Scientists Faced Particular Challenges When Trying to Monitor Earthquake Activity in the Area, the USGS Said. The Yellowstone Volcano has earned the terrifying label of a supervolcano because of its ability to cause damage on a global level. Located between the states of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, this volcano is continuously monitored by the USGS, United States Geological Survey, for signs of an ongoing supereruption. One way scientists conduct research in Yellowstone National Park and its surroundings is by analyzing earthquakes that occur in the area. Seismic activity was recorded in the region, with most of the earthquakes measuring below 3.5 on the Richter scale, meaning they were too weak to be felt. The USGS website reveals, the Yellowstone region is one of the most seismically active regions in the United States, experiencing an average of about 1,500 to 2,500 earthquakes per year. The majority of these earthquakes are too small to be felt by humans but are detected by a sophisticated network of about 50 seismometers called the Yellowstone Seismic Network. The University of Utah Seismograph Station UUSS, operates YSN, and earthquake data is transferred from Yellowstone to UUSS in real time using radio and satellite telemetry systems. UUSS scientists analyze earthquake data and report the information on their website. But the USGS also detailed why cold temperatures in the Yellowstone region cause seismographs to sometimes freeze. He added, keeping data flowing during the harsh winter months is a challenge as many transmission locations are on high peaks that experience heavy snowfall and extremely cold temperatures. Seismometers sometimes go down for short periods of time because solar panels or antennas are covered by snow and ice. Seismometers that go down during the winter may not be accessible until spring. This may cause concern for scientists due to the high probability of triggering an earthquake swarm. This poses a threat because it can trigger volcanic eruptions, although scientists are not sure how exactly this causes them. They believe the volcanic activity may have occurred in response to local pressure changes around the magma reservoir system as a result of severe ground shaking caused by the earthquake. The USGS website states, earthquake swarms, earthquakes that cluster in time and space, account for about 50% of the total seismicity in Yellowstone and can occur anywhere in the Yellowstone region, but most often occur along the east-west seismic path. Between Hebgen Lake and the Norris Geyser Basin, most swarms are small, contain 10 to 20 earthquakes, and are short-lived, lasting one to two days. However, Large waves that can accommodate 1,000 earthquakes and last for months do sometimes occur.